So I'm looking at this Roman sarcophagus from about 2015 AD, and the first thing I'm noticing is the standard reverse curve, circular linear relationships, diagonals and repeating diagonals and their opposites that are so common in ancient world type setups. And one of the things I'm noticing also is that this is actually two squares. So you could consider it a root four, but it's two squares side by side. And I'm not sure if they were using the section. A root four golden section rectangle is two squares. And so I've seen the golden section as far back as 5000 BCE, but that was in China. So I'm gonna go with a simpler approach first and see just what the squares do in these repeating diagonals based on their armature. And this is a common theme in design from all cultures across the world. Here is a piece from India, uh, Laura Caves, probably around 8th to 10th century CE, and it's doing the same thing. And where did we learn this? Well, it's obvious, it's from plants. That's how we learn most of our classical design techniques, just paying attention to what they do. Think of early humans visual theory of everything before science. So this is our blueprint. And if you go back to the square, look at the fractal nature of the square and how well it breaks down at every level. I mean, you can even go into the top and divide it into thirds based on four squares side by side. The next step would be to see if there's larger circles within those first generation of squares and then break them down into second and third generations because that's what those initial reverse curves that I showed are based on. So if we go back now and lay a root four on top of these squares, square root of four is two. So the golden section of a root four golden rectangle is gonna be on these basic square divisions. We can see that there is one interesting line created on the initial reciprocal that seems to have something to do with the lid, but it's questionable. Everything else is pretty consistent. And the last really interesting thing that I noticed is if you stack five root four golden rectangles side by side, they work perfectly within this little framework created at the top of the lid. They're not an exact match to the lines of the overall piece, whether that's the armature of the square or the golden section, but it's pretty close and it's a pretty amazing thing as is the piece overall. If you like old school, and you know I do,